Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the two against the Overlords campaign. Tevkid has uh, successfully finished the last campaign and it's time for Operation Knife Chalice. Rescuing a VIP from an advanced cell. I'm getting the VIP missions during this run, which is fun and all. Um, this time uh, we, however, have a bit of a busted ros uh, roster so i'm taking the leftovers uh, left and right uh, mad dog implacable xus 6 uh, trojan specter and wilson the second are going to go in one of each class um, you can see we're a bit short on money so we can't really afford any of the additional items at the moment so the few med kits and grenades is all we got and I'm up against a moderately difficult mission. On the other hand, Tepcat nicely has upgraded all of the weapons. Which in itself is perfect. I love it. So let the games begin. Alright, uh, we landed. And with that, we got a long way ahead of us. But we got a gas station and a couple of options, so... Let's see, we're aggressively moving in, anything but aggressive movement typically leads uh, to a problem on a VIP mission. Alright, first pack. Okay, we're spreading out nicely. As one would expect, a couple on high ground, a couple of our soldiers in low ground. The enemies in the meantime are making the rounds. I am wondering if we are pulling them with a blinding protocol, we would hit all three of them. And that wouldn't be bad. Not at all. Um, so, I'm thinking, oh my gosh. I hate people who are just using their uh, motorcycle to annoy me during recording time. So, as I was saying, blinding protocol. That would mean they cannot move that far from their starting location. Uh, disoriented reduces movement and it's not a bad starting protocol to begin with. Ah, there we go. That's good. Decent. We are moving a bit closer and I think what we can do here is to remove the cover and uh, hit the truck. Good, truck begins to burn which is good, that's what we're expecting. We are moving up with Trojan. Unfortunately not a crit, that is so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Okay, well. Sniper moves up. Happy to give up Overwatch. Uh, happy to give up Concealment. Very good. What's over there? In the meantime, XQ6 takes a good shot. I like that. Teamwork over. 
I want to deal with that specter. And there's the crit I was hoping for. Well, we could have shot from back here. Still okay. All good. The guy is disoriented. Potentially wants to flee. Might use his shields. But opts to do none of that. And instead stands there. Like a little muppet. Moving, to position. Moving up. And that's a perfect Comet Protocol finisher. Good, we're positioning over here. Okay, so I am wondering. We still got enough ammunition, so Overwatch is the right call. Clackable Overwatches as well. I would like to brace. Sniper here is in a good position. Wait, wait, what? There's a turret there. Okay, well, listen, I don't have time for these games. So that turret must go. Insta-kill via grenade. Okay, it seems as if the rooftop is clear now. I will keep our sniper behind just in case. And yeah, moving up. Next up, use the door, storm in and get the VIP. Wait, hello? Who are you? Wait, what? Why are we getting shot at? Okay, that seems to be one of their special abilities. Nah, nah, nah. Let's remove the cover first. And we're going to deal with the problems a little bit later. Oh yes, massive hit. I love it. Barely out of range. Um, yeah, before we're doing anything, let's see. A protocol down here. That's another no brainer. Down. 
Running and gunning. Will do. All the way to the front. Okay, I don't know who did the shield, so I will be a bit careful in that regard. Absolutely. Going up to heal next turn. Did that remove the shields? No, it did not, which means this guy here um, created the shields in the first place. Not the Wrath Commando, but the Advanced Destroyer Commando was the culprit. Okay, shield removed, which is a good start. Still way too much armor for my liking. Unfortunately a miss. Hair trigger? No. Interestingly enough we could uh, just suppress them and overwatch over here. Nice. So much for your melee shenanigans. Oh no, he has Bladestorm. Oh, yeah, it missed. Because we uh, we do have uh, Lightning Reflexes. That indeed counters Bladestorm. Uh, that's not good. We have to expect our soldiers to feel the strain of combat eventually. We just have to give them enough time to recover properly. Okay, well, this is some advanced bullshit. Going for cover. Since we can't shred this guy, might as well give him the sh good old shotgun to the face. Hard target. Minimal damage. All right, come on. Good hit. I like it. Unfortunately, combat protocol is down. Now would be a perfect time to not roll the dice here. Good. Shield finally removed. Okay. Uh, this is fall through, don't worry. If he moves, that'll be a problem for him. Free healing. Into uh, a solid miss, not good. This looks a little ugly. Well, we would have just needed to hit, and then that plan would have definitely worked out well. Could have, should have, would have, uh, doesn't help us, right? Keeping our soldiers healthy whenever possible. Um, you know what? Heal ourselves. Not good. 
Sniper moves up. Free reload into 100% kill. Pistol to the face. Because we had so much shotgun to the face. Wilson moves up. And listen, we're just going to overwatch here. There's still one more pack. So we should be careful. Okay, I need to open the door after we hacked, so well, that's not a bad place to start. Reload into Overwatch, and this turn will be a bit basic, but nonetheless important. of reloads some overwatches and we're good This might be a bad idea, but maybe we can get around that last pack. Who knows? I can handle that. Maybe we can get around that last pack. Okay, so far. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's. A shoot for the stars. I should have taken the smaller reward. Okay, so here we go. Reinforcements will be coming. Is the dreaded reinforcement. We're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Last pack is here, so I'm trying to play line of sight. Okay. I'm going. Oh, careful, this could trigger. Okay, everybody so far What's over there? could make it out. I'm away. Good, next turn is going to be the run for your life turn. Okay, so what are we dealing with? Priest and a normal trooper. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, and a drone. Still lemon squeezy. Good, so much for the priest. So much for the trooper. And the drone whiffs away. Good. VIP begins to move. Uh, there's the last pack. 
surprise! We wouldn't have never thought that. VIP gets out of here. And now with some classic good old run and gun. Uh, let's hit one of the vipers. Uh, didn't work out. Was trying to squeeze out that extra kill. And it's time to leave. Okay, well, that was an, uh, a fun experience. Could have fought against the last pack, but the downsides were outweighing the advantages. Are we getting some promotions is the question. No, ah, that is unfortunate. But boy, look at Mad Dog. 74 kills. Holy shit, the guy was slaughtering enemies left and right. We got another engineer, which is good. I know that Tapcat wanted to clear alien debris. I would want to speed up uh, finding the stronghold. And we got some more intel. Oh, wow. A scientist is good. Let's make contact here because I know that Tapcat wanted to likely get um, to that uh, facility, which is the right play, fully agree. Okay, well, no, so no surprise there. That's the Berserker Queen. And there is. Uh, there are more problems with the Avatar project. Yeah, I gotta contact this region. Isn't exactly known for being quiet. Okay, we'll play that off screen as always. Alright, easy peasy. That was good. Our Combat Medic got a promotion out of it, which is great, but even better. We got. Oh, Volunteering Army, that is good. Every mission there's a chance that a resistance uh, soldier will join XCOM. That's a really, really nice reward. Can't uh, finish the infiltration yet, but we can reduce the Avatar project. That isn't bad. That isn't bad. I think that's the right play here. And in terms of options, don't want to take the last zapper away because they tend to be quite important. Hmm. Question is, should we do that? It's a really good reward. Uh, we're currently fighting against the Avatar project, but I'm sure we will need... Uh, the Avatar project will fill up and we would eventually uh, need to counter it with going for a facility mission, which is totally fine. It is normal at this point. Aim plus four and a superior weapon upgrade. That is seldom and nine days is good for it. Could also try to get more influence here. Better resistance orders. Same problem with the sergeant though. And same problem with the sergeant here. Do we have anything that does not require a sergeant?
Do we have anything that does not require that? So, given our current state and that there is going to be a mission soon, it's either ability points and 10 days or hidden reserves, which I don't favor that much. So I think this one here is going to be it. Putting our marksman and field medic in here. It uh, doesn't matter that they could get wounded. Uh, not a perfect covert, but it's okay. And we now do have the option to really reduce the avatar project. Munition expert. Uh, that is not my favorite one. I still want to do pursue of knowledge. Here it would cost us 80 intel. Can't make contact immediately. I think we're going for scientist first and then we're uh, continuing to make contact here. You know what? I'll spend the 80 until now getting to full uh, to maximum contacts. That will raise the chance of us getting more contacts in the future and we're going to go for the scientists. Scientists always good. End of the month. Let's see. Over the past month has been significant, Commander, but there is still room to improve. Good. Lower income, lower income, and lower income. Well, they that uh, sucks. Undying loyalty is uh, back. We got to uh, counter that. Okay. So this is good. All resource rewards from rumors are doubled. Isn't bad either, but the bonds on the other hand are great as well. So getting faster bonds is really good. Since we are stuffed for resources, this includes also um, alien alloy, solarium and so on. Uh, we should go for it. Let's get the income because that'll give us option to build a few new things and more toys equals more options. Good. Well, that is uh, now Tepkit's responsibility. Superior speed, fantastic. Superior scope, fantastic. I uh, will do the executive decision of purchasing some of uh, those sweet, sweet items. Hair trigger is great as well. It's only 25, so there we go. Good, we have some funds not a lot uh, but Tapcat is free to do whatever he wants that is a no-brainer Tapcat is maybe not that free to do whatever he wants he could scan for another day but uh, that upgrade was definitely super helpful and much needed and next time we're uh, going to uh, go for the uh, facility mission and it seems one two three four five six i just left him in exactly one team uh, which he will uh, need to run through that and it's a good one i mean it is the team that i'm typically playing um, so for for whatever reason we've now switched or redoed uh, the teams uh, he is playing with kind of the soldiers that i had and vice versa but yeah um well, that's not bad so, I'll send it here. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.